Hi, in this video we're going to find the area enclosed by the curve y is equal to x cubed plus 4x squared minus x minus 4 and the x-axis. Sorry, this is going to be a slightly long video. Okay, the first step would be to sketch the sketching the curve. So we're going to look to see where this uh, curve hits the x-axis and the y-axis. We'll start with the x-axis. So on the x-axis, well, this bit here, y would be equal to zero. So we need to uh, find the factors using the uh, factor theorem. So we've got x cubed minus 4x uh, squared minus x minus 4 is equal to f of x. And what we need to do is try some values. So we need to try factors of 4. So just going to take the obvious one, f of 1. We can sub that substitute that in instead of x we get 1 cubed plus 4 times 1 squared minus 1 minus 4 that gives you 1 plus 4 minus 1 minus 4 and then we can see that gives me 0 which means that x minus 1 is a factor and then we can do polynomial division to find the other factors so if we uh, be a little bit careful there so just make sure you set this out properly so we, first of all we're going to do x cubed divided by x and that's going to be x squared then x squared times x is x cubed x squared times minus one is minus x squared and then we're going to do a subtraction so 4x squared minus minus x squared so be a bit careful here as you make a mistake is 5x squared bring down the minus x and then we're going to divide 5x squared by x to get plus 5x. And we're going to do 5x times x is going to give me 5x squared. And then 5x times minus 1 is going to give you minus 5x. 5x squared minus uh, 5x is give me nothing. Minus x minus minus 5x is 4x. Bring down that minus 4. And then we're going to divide the 4x by x, and that will give me plus 4. 4 times x will give me 4x, and then 4 times minus 1 will give me minus 4. And then we'll do a subtraction, we get nothing, which we expected because x minus 1 was a factor. So we're now going to take this quadratic, x squared plus 5x plus 4 is equal to 0 and factorise it. It's quite an easy one. It's x plus 4, x plus 1 is equal to 0. I'll leave you to practice that or pause the video just to think about that. So therefore, um, x cubed plus 4x squared minus x minus 4, given, we're trying to find where it cuts the axis, factorise, it gives us this, what we just found out. And therefore, we know that x... Uh, cuts the axis at x is minus 4, x is minus 1, and x is equal to 1. Do also have a set of axes? Label the axes. I'm going to mark on here uh, minus 4, minus 1, and 1. For the y-axis, well, that's quite straightforward, because if x is equal to 0, you're just going to be left with minus 4. So it goes through uh, the point here at minus 4, so I'm just going to extend the axis a little bit. So we get to minus 4. Now, if it's a uh, cubic, it's going to have, either have a maximum, minimum, or just a point of inflection. But here we can see, obviously, because it crosses the axis, it's going to be a maximum and a minimum. Because it has to go through this point here, this point here, then our curve will be something like this. And remember, it's only a sketch, so we just need to draw a sketch. Okay, and then label the curve okay so we want the area enclosed by the curve and the axis so it's going to be these two areas here so we'll just shape that now the problem is that some of the axis uh, some of the areas above the axis and some is below so unfortunately we'll have to work out this integral separately to find this area here and we will expect the answer to be positive because it's a positive area above the axis and then this area here is below the axis therefore it will be negative right setting up the integrals properly so a1 will be the integral from minus 4 to minus 1 from minus 4 to minus 1 of x cubed plus 4x squared minus x minus 4 dx integrating so x cubed is x to the 4 over 4 4x squared is 4 over 3x cubed 
x will be minus a half x squared, and then we get minus 4x, and then the limits, we just put it on the end here. So make sure that you are using the correct notation. So writing that out. Okay, and then what you need to do is you need to substitute minus 1. So substituting in minus 1, so you can see I substituted here in red instead of the x value. Minus, and be put in a bracket, and then substitute in minus 4. So it's always this one and minus this one. Okay. And close the bracket. That's good. Okay. If we work this bit out on our calculator, and use the fraction button on your calculator, so it's going to give you 29 over 12. If we work this bit out, I don't forget, we've still got this minus here. It's minus uh, 40 over 3. Then we can work that out and get 63 over 4. So don't be frightened to use fractions as opposed to decimals. And then you don't get like recurring decimals like you would get here. Okay, a2 will be the integral from minus 1 to 1 of x cubed plus 4x squared minus x minus 4. And then the same thing, we've already integrated it once. Okay, so it's just got to be this with different limits. Okay, so the limits will be from minus 1 to 1. And again, we will just have to substitute in. So substituting in 1, the top one first. Minus the other one, which is minus 1. So obviously it's really important that you do use brackets when substituting in, particularly if it's a negative sign, negative number. Okay, so this one here gives you minus 35. This lot here gives you minus 35 over 12. And this one we've already worked out in the previous part to be minus 29 over 12. If we uh, add them together, we get a negative area, which we expected because A2 was below the axis. Now, to find the total area, we take the area of A1, which is 63 over 4, and then take the absolute value of the one which is negative, and so I ignore the minus sign and add them together, and we get a final answer of 253 over 12 square units. Now, to go with this video, I've made this GeoGebra app, which is here. Okay, it looks a little bit small in the video, but you can see uh, the, the curve that we just drawn. Okay, and here is all the working. Okay, so the link of this um, GeoGebra app I will put in the notes of this video, but the good thing about this video this app, of course, is you can change the routes where they are and then it will also work out the area for you, okay? You can see that. I'm sorry about the sign about my headphones being uh, trying to attach to the app, okay? So this app I will put in the notes of the video, the links of it I will put in the notes of the video and you can try it for yourself. And the great thing is it changes all the coefficients. If you look here, the coefficients change and obviously it works out the corresponding integral. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to find the area enclosed by a, a cubic function and the x-axis. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.